end of February, I got sent the Current Body Skin LED Light Therapy Mask and I immediately put it to the test. You see, I have been toying with the idea of purchasing one for a while. I'm in my mid-40s and I do see changes in my skin I know won't be stopped with skincare alone. But so far, never seen the purchase decision through as it is kind of an investment to make. With that decision out of my hands, I did film a before clip of my skin and committed to using it every other night starting March 7th up until May 7th when I did film the after. Which changes did I see? How did using the mask feel? And do I recommend you get one yourself? Let's talk. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. If you're interested in the data behind LED therapy and what to look for in a mask, I highly recommend you watch my video on the evidence of at home LED devices for skin rejuvenation first. I will link it up here as it will make the things I talk about easier to understand. The current body skin LED light therapy mask uses two different wavelengths, 633 from the red light spectrum and 830 nanometers from the near infrared light spectrum. Just as a quick recap, these are the wavelengths that have shown results for collagen production, reduction of inflammation and pain relaxation. It does not use any blue light wavelengths, which is why I am a little surprised to see they claim improvement in light acne. Usually blue light at 450 nanometer wavelength is used for that. My guess is they refer to the reduced inflammation. I am personally not mad that they do not use blue light, as blue light most often is associated with increased hyperpigmentation, but if you are looking for a mask to specifically support your acne journey, you might be better off with another one. The irradiance, meaning the power the mask has, is at 30. Again, quick repetition, 40 to 150 was the irradiance that yielded good results in studies, but you usually don't get that much in at-home devices. The mask is flexible, which means it can be adapted to your face and sits pretty snug with the exception of the area around the chin. The fact that it has but one strap means that for it to sit closely there, I need to use my hand to press it down. A minor inconvenience, but one to consider if you want to have both hands free for doing stuff. The flexible fit meant I could easily wrap it around my neck or place it on my decollete for treatment there. Current Body Skin LED offers devices for these areas too, but that way you can use one to target all three. LED masks in general should be used on cleansed skin, so they don't react with the skincare you applied and they can be used anytime during the day. As you don't get immediate results, as you for example get with microcurrent devices, my preferred way of using it was at night after cleansing and before I did the rest of my routine, but whatever fits your schedule is fine. The mask has one button with which you can turn it on and off and it automatically switches off after 10 minutes. You can restart it immediately though and I got around 25 uses out of one charge. LED light therapy at the wavelength used here does not increase the skin's photosensitivity and you can use your AHAs and your retinoids like you normally would. That might not be true for other wavelengths used though, especially if you go into the blue light sector. For optimal results you should ensure a close fit, so you put the mask on your face and tighten the strap in the back. I didn't find the current body skin one to be perfect in terms of fitting. I both had issues with it not sitting close enough in the chin area and with the strap and consecutively the mask traveling up and down if I got up and started moving around. According to the instruction manual no eye protection is needed, but High energy red and infrared light has the potential to damage the eyes through overheating, so even if this mask is certified safe due to the lower energy, you can obviously wear protective gear. I mentioned before that the mask should be worn on clean skin and not on top of actives, but there are some skincare ingredients that are safe to use with LED masks, namely hyaluronic acid, green tea extract and niacinamide. Current Body Skin offers a skincare bundle to go with the mask and very kindly sent me their Hyaluronic Acid Serum, their Green Tea Serum and their Hydrogel Face Mask. I tried all of them with the mask, but I have to admit I am not the biggest fan of the serums. They are perfectly fine Hyaluronic Acid and Green Tea Serums, but I didn't like their texture nor their fragrance much. The Hydrogel Face Mask is a two-piece mask, which ensures good fit 
but other than that, nothing special. So most of the time I just use the LED mask and nothing else. Now for the results part, the before and after, the thing you have been waiting for. In case you skipped here, first of all, rude, and second, you missed a lot of valuable information. But here you go, side by side in natural light, the before on the left and the after on the right. As you can see, you don't see drastic changes and that wasn't to be expected. While the website promises a 35% reduction in wrinkles in only 4 weeks, it is unclear if they refer to wrinkle pep or wrinkle count here, I am unsure I would notice with the bare eye if my wrinkles are 35% less deep, as far as I imagine that isn't a really visible result. My most notable wrinkles are around my eyes. I like to think they come from the fact that I laugh so much, insert major eye roll from my husband who claims I am the most serious person on earth and never ever laugh, and to me they look about the same as they did in March. What I do notice though, and what you might be able to sense in the videos, is that I have less overall redness and that my skin feels plumper and firmer, and that I in general look into the mirror each morning and feel like my skin just looks better. I also have less breakouts and if I have them they seem to heal quicker, which is also a bonus. Now, I don't say that this is only because of the mask. We have transitioned from early spring to end of spring, I might have slept better or eaten better, I kept using my skincare. For all I know, I might just be imagining things because I want to get results because I am doing something. I still stand by what I said in my previous video. LED Mars are not a necessary investment. There isn't enough convincing data regarding the effectiveness of at-home devices, and it is far more important to get your basics right, sunscreen, antioxidants, retinols. But, and here comes my totally personal and anecdotal experience with the current body skin LED light therapy mask. I adore it. I am convinced it has noticeable effects on my skin, and if I had known that my skin would look and feel that way, I would have purchased one long ago. I say that fully aware that I am in the privileged situation to be able to just shell out 329 euro on a skincare device, and I want to stress again that this is absolutely not needed for a well-balanced skincare routine. But if you have a big birthday coming up, or somehow have money to spend but no idea on what, or if you just like scaring your loved ones, the current body skin LED light therapy mask is one that I recommend. If there is anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen, and add links to my Instagram blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon, bye!